This is what our carnivore family had for dinner last night. Flamethrower edition. After making sure that your flamethrower is still in good working condition, fill a deep pot with enough water to give a puppy a bath in. Don't worry, no puppies were bathed in the making of this video. Place your pot on a stable surface near an outlet. Attach your sous vide cooker to the pot. A sous vide cooker is a precision slow cooker that uses heat dispersed through water to bring food up to and hold it at an exact temperature for a predetermined period of time. Plug your sous vide cooker in, set the temperature, and turn it on. We're gonna let the sous vide cooker preheat while we do the rest of the prep work for dinner. Wipe down your cutting board. It needs to be real clean. Drop your freshly thawed steaks and lay them out real pretty so you can begin to apply the magic ingredients. In our last two carnivore family dinner videos, people were complaining that we weren't using enough seasoning. But here's the thing. Since we've been carnivore for over a month already, our desperate, out-of-control feeding addiction to flavor has subsided in favor of a desire to be satiated by a proper human diet consisting of fuels that are going to support our bodies and lifestyle as opposed to dragging them down. But I digress. Even though we're carnivore, we're not opposed to occasionally using seasonings. Here you'll see me applying salt, rosemary, and thyme. Not enough seasoning for you? Well, by golly, Bill Bob Thornton, you can add all the ever-loving seasoning that you want. Throw some garlic, onion, and pepper on there if you want. Adulterate that steak with some Heinz 51 or some A1 sauce. See if I care. This isn't a video about what you'd eat. It's a video about what my carnivore family had for dinner last night. Once you get the steaks all seasoned up though, tuck them into a nice silicone bag. Silicone is a preferable choice to plastic because it doesn't leach microplastics into your food. We're going to cook these babies at 125 for two hours. When your steaks are done, lay out a paper towel to place your steaks on so they can dry out. All we've done so far with the sous vide cooker is cook them to the internal temperature that we want them to be. We've done absolutely nothing to the outside. And if we slapped one of these on your plate straight out of the bag, it would look pretty unappetizing. I want to make a sauce out of the juices so I make sure to pour those off and save them for later. Lay your steaks out, dry them off, wipe off some of the excess seasoning. We've already imparted enough flavor from the seasoning to the steaks. <laughs> Next, fire up your flamethrower. We need a replay of that. Oh yeah, fire. Who doesn't need a flamethrower for the food? When people ask me why, I just ask, why not? Sometimes in life, it's all about asking the right questions. In all seriousness, what this sous vide gun does is it gives the outside of the steak, which still looks rare, a perfectly done sear. And while there's a lot of different ways to do this, I've found that the sous vide gun does it the fastest. This is why it's also so important that you have the steaks dry before you begin to sear them. Wet steak will take three to four times longer to sear. Look at that. Truly a thing of beauty. Amazing. Don't these just look absolutely delicious? Perfectly rare on the inside and seared to absolute perfection on the outside. I think everybody's ready to eat. So after we set the table and put our special yoki sauce out, it's time to dig in and serve up. Making perfect steaks takes a long time and a lot of effort. And that's to say nothing about how much a prime cut of steak costs. But when it's been done right, cooked to perfection inside and out, there's simply nothing better. While this is one of the best cuts of meat to have on the carnivore diet, replete with all the essential nutrients, including vitamins and minerals, we can't afford to have it every day, but we do try to have it about once a week. We have a variety of high fat, no carb recipes that we use to keep things fresh that don't get stale. Follow and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.